So a bit of a, a fun little drift exercise. How did we make that? What's up everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit and we are here on Forza Horizon 4 today for a little challenge to you guys. So I decided to create a route that I was uh, been eyeing up and trying to figure out how to do for a while. So we are in our R34 Skyline, which is tuned for basically grip racing. I was using it, it is a A-class car, it's a 799. So today we are gonna take a look at the challenge that I'm bringing to you guys called Stay in Your Lane challenge so we're gonna go do that event here and uh show you guys what i mean by the title i think you guys can understand what the gist of the racing is gonna do so in order to get to this event you have to go to the horizon festival sprint which is located which is located right left of the horizon festival so like I said, it is called Stay in Your Lane Challenge. So if you don't understand what it is by just the name of it, then, uh, well, you're about to see it. So Evil Rabbit presents Stay in Your Lane Challenge. So retro sports car class. So we are going to be using our Skyline here today, but it is for any retro sports car. Um, this Skyline is just tuned up on racing tires, uh, 799 A-class car. Probably one of my favorite classes to race is A-class cars. And uh, I don't know if a super high-powered car would be the best choice for uh, this challenge. So we're going to give it a shot. I did run it once on testing, so I haven't actually uh, done it um, in the game to set my time or anything like that. So, But basically, it is a course that is set up where all the checkpoints are on the right side of the driving road where you should be driving. So every checkpoint the entire race is meant to be on the correct side of the road um there's small deviations where you can uh, maybe pass some people and uh the drive cars tend to uh move their self out of the way at one point in the race but we are going to do this here today and uh just for the purpose of this we're going to knock down the difficulty just a smidge um so i wanted to bring this to you guys and uh, challenge you guys to do this and see what times people can get on this. So if you guys want to give this a shot, comment down below your times. Hit me up on Instagram with a picture of your times or whatnot. Very curious if you guys are interested in trying this little bit of a stay in your line challenge. Stay in your lane. So here we go. We are on our full Logitech G920, 900 degrees of rotation. Sequential shifter, energy innovations wheel. So in the beginning, there's a bit of a open section where you can... Uh, kind of jog up a position but you're gonna have to uh slice up down and this is where the whole stay in your lane begins like i said it is set up to where you will be driving in the correct lane of driving the entire race and these guys are going to be in my way i try to find a, a place to pass them so i did set it like these checkpoints are pretty small and they are all on the correct line of driving and i almost completely went off course there so it's kind of um, a way to uh, hone uh, precision driving I guess you could say and I'm having I had a lot of fun making this route and testing it and now we're just in a full uh, full out race so I mean technically if you were in a real street race oh god you would be doing this anyways you would try to be staying on your side of the road so as you can see the checkpoints are very small and they're set perfectly on the correct side of the road. So I chose my R34 because it is good for grip and it's all wheel drive and uh, kind of goes where I want it to. But you can choose any other retro sports car you want. Just A-class cars are probably my favorite class of cars to race. I'm trying to stay in our lane because that's the whole purpose of this race is to stay in your lane the entire race. It's a little bit of a section here that's a little bit wider on the lanes. Ooh, almost lost that. This is where the drive cars decide to go uh, 
miss that turn so that's your chance to get ahead and get some clean air but the the whole section is to try and stay in the lane not hit the walls like that so there is parts of the track that you can drift wide but you better make sure you uh come back into the lane to get your checkpoints because i did set the checkpoints very close together and then you're gonna make sure you want to blow yourself down here because uh, it's kind of a hard turn but you also got to stay within the driving line and try and uh, stay on your side of the street. So this was a challenge I've been thinking about doing for a while and I just thought about doing it and bringing it to you guys to see if you guys would be interested in it. Uh, I am also very interested in doing this in almost like a drift car and do it in a drift race and see if I can't drift in my own line, which would be very interesting to uh, try and do street drifting staying within the checkpoints. I broke a little bit too much there. I didn't need to break that much. So as you can see, these checkpoints are pretty uh, pretty narrow. And right there, we're going to be able a little bit off our line, but we're going to pretty much stay in our lane. Now we're going to head back up the uh, little mountain section, but this time on the outside of the turns given the correct driving roads so it's kind of a fun little challenge to do so I challenge you guys to give it a shot let me know what you guys think that's probably not staying in my lane right there and I'd be very curious to see what type of uh, what type of cars you guys chose in the retro sports car class and uh, what kind of times you guys are getting on this little track we're pretty much coming up straight to the finish here so that's my little stay in your lane challenge and uh it's a fun little track to drive i mean it's it takes a little bit of uh precision i was able to complete it in 344.091 so it's definitely a fun little challenge i challenge you guys to give it a shot stay in your lane challenge try and uh do this challenge as quick as you can but make sure you know with staying within the lane but there are some spots where you can deviate like i said but majority of it you're gonna have to make sure you get back in your lane so that you can get your checkpoints because they are really close together and very narrow so head to the festival give it a shot for yourself let me know what you guys think about it i think we should uh maybe see if we can't get a little retro uh drift car which i think i may have uh a rotary uh a bit of a rotary in here so we're gonna flip ourselves around I was going the right way I head back to the festival and change up cars and try this one more time wait I think I need that Forza Thon we may uh that ah, will be all right no worries we'll get the Forza Thon later but we're gonna cut through here to get to uh back to our little race section so that we can uh, try it maybe in a drift car ow maybe in a drift car and see how uh, see how it works in a drift car so a bit of an interesting take on uh, a street race because uh, well if you were actually in a street race you would definitely be trying to uh, stay in your lane through some of the sections so that was the kind of the main purpose of that that didn't work get wrecked on myself I thought I could e-brake this and slide it but then I realized this is all-wheel drive with some really really grippy tires so I gotta remit I gotta go back to this event and uh, go into my custom event I went to the right one I did go to my event stay in your lane challenge did I click it I did click it game's taking forever to look but there we go what kind of cars we got oh we got my Z's and my 240's Ooh, we have my A-class S14 or A-class S13 mmm and we got some Z's too all right, so I think we're going to uh, we're gonna take the 240 out and uh, see if we can't do this little stay in your lane challenge in a drift car and uh, maybe uh, get our drift on in these sections without uh, actually going too far out of the track. 
do it in a kind of a drift race style because the car is set up to drift so I may not need handbrake although I may use it um, because it will just get sideways this is a fully built uh, 240SX with um, stock motor turboed um, full drift suspension full drift spec and uh, it's a little over 400 horsepower I believe it's 428 horsepower so uh, this should be definitely a very interesting challenge I'm definitely gonna let those guys go ahead of me and uh, do this in the 240, hang back a little bit, see if I can't do this challenge sideways. Ooh, looks like we've got Paul Walker over there. So we are going to do this thing sideways and uh, see what happens. I'm gonna let them go. Got a lot of little 240s going on here, so. Little stay in your lane challenge in a drift car. We gotta try and uh, basically be street drifting this car and racing it without uh, deviating from our lane too much. I'm gonna have to try and pass that guy. Oh, and see that's where I'm deviating from the lane and I'm kinda losing it there. Oh, yep, see, I tried to get a little bit too aggressive and I missed my checkpoints. So we're going to uh, rewind that a little bit. So this is actually uh, a bit harder if you want to try. Oh, my wheel was turned. Get wrecked on myself. So this is uh, actually a bit harder than just uh, driving it normally. Trying to uh, basically drift in your lane in a rear wheel drive drift car. Oh, too much. See, go a little bit too wide. So this is actually uh, a challenge in itself. If you want to try some precision drifting? Try doing this in a drift car and hit all your checkpoints while going sideways. Oh, that's uh, this is a bit of a a twist on my uh, little challenge here. Here we go a little bit better a little clutch kick loss of power there but we're still uh, somewhat staying in it a little bit on the wall but we're good we're still kind of staying in our lane we're hitting all our checkpoints so that's all that matters nope stay in lane Ooh. so you want a challenge? Get yourself a drift car and do this. Do this uh, stay in your lane challenge in a drift car and uh, try and make sure you don't lose uh, lose your uh, checkpoints like I did. There we go. Now I'm getting the now I'm getting the feels of it. That's not gonna get the feel of it. That wall saved me. Oh my gosh. So a bit of a, a fun little drift exercise. How did we make that? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not worried about winning. I don't I just want to know how we made that. This is a little bit of a drift exercise workout. Trying to do some uh, legal street drifting, if it's uh, legal by any means. This is actually pretty fun. Doing a little sideways sliding in a in a race where we gotta stay within our it within our lines. Oh boy. Other than that, I was way offline. And now we're gonna have to do this totally the opposite way. That guy missed the checkpoint. Oh, and I as I say that I completely just passed that checkpoint. So Try this with a drift car as well. This is uh, something else. And it, 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 it's it's a, a fun challenge by itself, but throw a drift car in the mix and trying to stay within your, uh, within your points while going sideways. I drifted a little too wide. We were able to get that point though. 
drift the outside now. Not like that we don't. So, I'm definitely going to have to uh, practice this myself and uh, get better at doing this sideways. Staying in my lane while uh, drifting. <laughs> So a fun little take on a created race. Give it a guys, give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and all social media sites, all of which are found in the description box below. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you try this challenge. It's definitely a lot of fun. So until next time, I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.